Welcome to my work table. I wanted to document a technique where I combined fluid pouring with acrylic paints along with chain pulling. So this was my very first chain pull. I This was just a test watercolor paper. Instead of using string, I used chain because it's heavier and just worked it in an S pattern to create these lily shapes. There's three separate chains. Um, that I pulled and I've tried string pulling before and it didn't work um, It just didn't have the weight and I think you're supposed to smash something on top of it But I didn't want to do that because I wanted to see so this is all done on scrapbooking um, Watercolor paper and so you might these are just my scraps so the chevron pattern was a scrap and um, I tried the chain pulling and I'm actually really super happy with it so that was just a pure chain pull. And then I did a dirty pour from a cup and I finally got cells, yay. And then I did another dirty pour with this metallic teal and it was just looking kind of crazy at the end. So I decided to quickly grab a chain, dip it in paint and um, Put it on top and you can see how the lilies have cells and there's supposed to be a lily on either side but um, they just kind of disappeared but now it's really cool you can see the difference between cells they look like little fans and no cells and then my last painting I'm not super happy with the color palette but um, I'd wanted it to be neon pink but it blended in with the white background and it's this mauve color and there are some gold flecks in it that I'm happy with but I worked it and worked it and was scraping it and I still just was really frustrated so I quickly dipped a chain in some gold and you can see how the color has changed into more of this pewter bronze um, you can see some of the awesome cells there. So it's a really fun technique to um, save any of your liquid pores that just aren't working out. If you like this video, oh and by the way this is only my second time ever pouring and so um, I'm gonna get a lot better at it. But if you like this video um, please subscribe. Um, I may even try pouring some things live when I uh, get brave enough and get good enough but I just wanted to show how you could combine these two techniques to create really beautiful art.